We're at my apiary in Pangbourne, which is six miles just west of Reading. Um, it's 11 degrees, overcast, um, 13th of December, and it's probably really good conditions for checkerboarding. It's not too cold, so we're not going to be um, venting too much heat out of the hives. So we're going to do two hives today. We're going to do this yellow roofed hive, uh, checkerboard it, and we're going to checkerboard this colony here. This is the first colony that we're going to checkerboard today. I've got a brood box here with the queen and the brood. I've got a queen excluder here which is blanking off a box of stores which may or may not have bees in it and above that I've got a box of wood chip which I use to absorb the condensation. In terms of other equipment so this is our, our basic checkerboarding box of stores. Over here I've got a box of drawn empty comb which I'm going to alternate with that box of stores in a third box here. We're doing this on site and we're actually going to do the, the uh, checkerboarding whilst the colony is open and um, we'll see how we go. Right so the first thing I'm going to do is take off this Celotex and wood chip box and this is simply absorbing the condensation from within the hive. No bees present but I expect the old dead one that's come up. The bees are flying now, it's warm enough. So we're going to release this box. And here we can see the colonies actively up into this box of stores. So I'm going to remove this box of stores which I'm going to use for checkerboarding. And do you cover this? And then I'm going to cover the brood, keep this warm. Temporary measure. So now I've got a box of stores here with bees in it. No brood. I'm going to alternate these stores with a box of empty drawn comb. And that's it, done. So now I'm going to consolidate these two boxes. So I'm just checking that I've got them alternating vertically as well as horizontally. So the first frame there is empty and I want this first frame to be brewed, uh, sorry, to be stores. The first frame to be stores vertically and it is, I can see that. So I've got the, these um, checkerboarded frames alternating vertically and across the, across the frame. So I'm simply going to impose this back on the brood, remove this queen excluder because these two boxes which have been checkerboarded are going to fill up with brood in the next few weeks. So it's an important step isn't it to remove that queen excluder? Absolutely. That's key. So this was really a contingency going into the autumn when I was feeding this particular um, super up, uh, this particular box of stores to get the checkerboarded stores um, to keep the brood out of it. But now, when we're looking ahead to January, February, March, we want this to be a completely unrestrained colony to enable the bees to expand at their will. So two checkerboarded boxes go on top of the principal box with the queen and brood. And that is it. So I will close this up properly in a minute, but effectively, that's the checkerboarding complete for a second. Right. Just a second. Right, clip. <laughs> take one. Take one. <laughs> right, here we are. We're about to checkerboard this hive. I'm going to take the lid off. Oh, oh we're at um, John White's Apiary in Pangbourne, which is uh, on the River Thames. Um, the conditions are really mild today, uh, about 11 degrees. Um, so. Not too many flying bees, hopefully they're all inside. 
we're not gonna we're not gonna upset them too much what have we got in here jill um so what we've got here is we've got three boxes with the brood we have a queen excluder and on top a box that we have been feeding hopefully full of stores uh, to enable us to check aboard this hive what we're going to do is remove this insulation uh, crown board the stores and remove the queen excluder we'll what get on with got, that now what have we got over there oh uh, over here we have a box of frames that we are going to use with um the with the box of stores to checkerboard and then we will put it all back together again so here goes There we are. We can lift that one out. Yeah. Yeah, I think that's loose. Oh, yeah, it's nice and behind heavy. You, that can go over there, Jill. Behind full you. Full of um, full of stores. Oh, there we go. Okay. Here is the queen excluder. So hopefully, the queen is happy down below. I'm just going to loosen it off. Sorry, girls. No, you don't really like it, do you? Be quick. We'll be quick. We'll cover it. Yeah, we'll cover it. Let's just check. Nothing going on there. Right. I'm just going to put this there. Okay. We'll leave that now. We're going to... No, we're leaving that on. Okay. So now we're going to return these we're to going this to colony. Turn it back. We've got stores, empty stores, empty empty stores empty stores so we're yeah. on it okay so i'm going to put them like this first so we we can okay. take them straight over yeah so okay. if you remove that, that and the board i'll slide this into position I'll go around this way when you're ready jill no right. queen excluder ready steady go aha uh -huh. bit of uh yeah, okay. Yep, you're on. You're on, John. Perfect. Perfect. Wonderful. Straight on. Then I'm going to put some oh, insulation on this. Okay. And some wood chip to absorb the, uh, the wall, yeah. absorb the condensation. Shall I put the crown board back on? Not just yet, Jill. <coughs> so we're going to put this box of wood chip which will absorb the condensation from the hive and we find that this keeps the colony really lovely and dry when we get into the spring simply a bit of hessian cloth and some clean wood chip Absorbs and that's it so this is attached underneath or around the sides by simply by stapling it, stapling yeah. the hessian. So it's still the super, still usable in the, in the spring and summer. And then above this, we just put a, a bit of Celotex and that's pretty bulletproof. So there's not uh, no air that's passing upwards and through, but all the moisture and the warm air that rises is being absorbed it's in the wood, the wood chips, chip. Yeah. So we've got checkerboarded box, checkerboarded box, the queen and the brood below and what we're expecting over the next few weeks yeah, is for this queen this colony to expand rapidly into. up into these checkerboarded boxes and beginning their rapid spring expansion so we've got two supers here there's blue spacers on the cap stores and here's an example of what we've got so these are capped pretty much and then we've got drawn comb with the yellow spacers on and we're going to check aboard these two supers and here you go just after it took me about a minute and we have alternating stores and drawn comb and when they're on top of each other you will have for every time you have drawn comb at the bottom you've got stores at the top and vice versa and these will be stacked and placed onto the hives and here is a another set of supers this time it's white spacers for the stores and yellow spacers for the drawn comb and this is going to go onto a different hive which has actually got a slightly different cell size compared to my standard foundation it's small cell 
So we've got the cluster here, we've got two brood bodies. All we're going to do today is take this cover board off, place it on top of this checkerboarded two sets of supers, place it back on and the manipulation's finished. And I'm going to move this out of the way because this will un undoubtedly trip me up. So it's going to be 10 seconds, potentially with some bees flying. Okay, so there's already bees taking an interest in this honey. So there'll be some bees in a minute. There we go. So we're going to check aboard this hive, which will take no time at all. First thing is to take off the insulation. Now we're getting a bit of interest in these supers and again it's just a very quick manipulation. I'm going to take the cover board off, the crown board. It's fixed into position. Lots of little bottoms in the air. And I'll just twist that round. And there we have it, a checkerboarded hive.